Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going to be doing our first Icon Swaps Season 2 player review. And this is on none other than Socrates. A guy that you can actually get for just 11 tokens, which I think is a good price. I didn't think that they would put his baby card in foot swaps. I, I, mean, I thought they would put the middle card or maybe even the prime. But we do get the baby card. And it's a very nice card. And... This review is quite unique to be honest because I have over 200 games on this card. It's not like I've gone out and bought him and I've tried him for 5 games. No, he has 216 games for me, 63 goals and 87 assists. And what we're going to be showing is the highlights that I did manage to get with this Socrates in Foot Champions. And we will also be playing a live game with this card like we normally do in these reviews. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash a like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content, a lot more reviews, squad builders, all sorts of stuff coming to the channel very, very soon. So taking a look at this card then, I got him from the baby icon uh, SBC. If you're wondering how I got this card, I was very happy to be honest. He comes in on the market around 600,000 coins. So to get him, it was a bit more than the pack cost me. So medium low six foot four the stats for this guy are very unique i do believe because he's tall he's strong five star weak foot four star skill moves that's one of the best things about this card already without even showing you highlights that's just so meta in this game that's exactly what you need as for his actual stats though they are actually really really nice um acceleration 81 sprint speed 80 for a center mid that's fine um shooting is good Finishing 84, it's not crazy, but it's good for a card on this game. I feel like maybe I could do the different chemistry style to boost his finishing, make him a bit more reliable in that camp position. But for me, I quite like the engine on him. You can see it boosts his passing, his dribbling and his pace. Shot power 90, very important on this game. Everything about it, stamina 85 is very good. Long shots 89, crossing 88, vision 87. Agility 78 and balance of 56, that might be sending flashes to you, it might be a warning sign. I wouldn't worry about that too much, but I'll talk about that more in the review. Everything else, so ball control of 91, dribbling 89, composure 95. All of this for a guy who is 6 foot 4, feels absolutely massive in game, is such a nice thing to have on this game, and it's a really unique card. So, the way we actually have Socrates in the team is I set it up like this, so Socrates, he's quite a versatile player, but I don't think he's so versatile that you can play him as a CDM. So what we do is we actually go over to the attacking formation here, and I have him as a right centre mid in this formation. In this one here, I think uh, what we normally do is we have Socrates as the cam in this team. So we have him as the cam. He works really, really nice as a cam. I think that's the best position for Socrates, what we'll do is we'll get into a live match in Foot Champions, show you how he plays, then we'll get into the highlights that I did manage to get with this card. So here we go then, our opponent for today's game. He has Rivaldo, Di Maria, Usman, Paulinho, Mascherano, Otamendi. He loves an SBC, it looks like. Some very nice players, though, that he has chosen. I hope that we can do well. I haven't been playing... Uh, much FIFA so far today, so I could be a bit rusty, but I hope that Socrates can pull us through this game with Mbappe. Let's see how we get on. If you look at Socrates in game, and you'll notice this a lot, obviously, through the highlights, he is really tall, and he's made a great run here through already. Can he do that nicely? I have a lot of experience with this card, so normally when we do player reviews uh, for the new players that we test out, it's almost like nearly got it through to him. It's almost like testing out what they can do. I know exactly how Socrates performs in game. And I just hope that he can highlight that in this live game. Socrates to Son. Can we get an assist? Yes, we can. There we go, Socrates. Now, I've set up in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. This is my formation where I just want to get off to a good start. I want to be nice and strong in the game. Have the attacking threat from the get-go. And Socrates, that's one of his best uh, things about the cards. He's very reliable pass, uh, passer on this game. You can't say that with the many players. So having a guy like Socrates in your team, you know that you'll find uh, the target a lot of the time. Good tackle. And you don't really see that too much as he 
takes me down. You don't see that too much from this Socrates card, uh, the tackling, because his defending stats aren't great, and especially when you have him in the cam roll, you don't expect him to really have that great of a tackling stat. He's not your rude hullet type of player, um, although he is able to win the ball back just because of his height and his strength. He's able to get in between the player and do really, really good job at just transitioning the play. Socrates to Son. Mbappe. Mbappe. Thank you. What a weird goal, but we are flying this new team that I have built. It feels very, very nice. Socrates doing his job, winning the ball back, I think. Nice runs. That's one thing we'll talk about. I'm really, really excited about this card, and I was excited when we got it. Is this going to be a rage quit? It is going to be a rage quit, so... That went so well. What we'll do is we'll jump into another one and get some more highlights with this card. Into the second game, then we come up against this Ben Yedda, Nedved. It's a strong team, nothing too crazy. Hopefully we can do well. Socrates making a fantastic run. And he has the pace to do well against a lot of defenders. Nice dribbling. Can he get the pass back? Into Griezmann. Griezmann with the turn. Finesse, not finesse. Power strike and what a save to Stegen. Oh my days. Not the way I wanted to score, but I will take it. I thought I'd messed up the opportunity with Son. Yep, good goal. We, uh, we've we been hit on the counter-attack by this guy. Not great from me. Socrates back to Griezmann. Can he get the assist? Hits the post. There's no way. Great pass from Socrates. You can rely on him in them positions, but you can't rely on this game to uh, finish chances that are just easy. It's a nice play. That's beautiful play. Has to finish it. You see I've switched uh, Socrates to play at camp. And look at the passing. Look at the dribbling. Look at the pace. He created that chance for Griezmann. He just created one 30 seconds ago. We managed to finish this one. And here he comes. That is fantastic. The back heel assist. How much? How good is this guy? I really, really cannot stress it enough. He is really, really a top quality player on this game. So good first half then from us. We lead 2-1 at the break. We've done okay. I feel like we've played very well in this uh, first half. Socrates in that camp position though, that's where you want him. He's so influential. I was really shocked when I looked at all the highlights that I played in foot champs. He is probably one of the best players or in most important players in this team. Socrates, can he get it through to Son? Son, finesse, has to score. There we go, 3-1. Another assist from Socrates and his passing is so reliable guys. It is one of the best things. I keep mentioning it. But I think he's hopefully, fingers crossed, helped me wrap up this game. So we get the rage quit. Very, very happy with that. Two games uh, of foot champions. We win both of them. That's really nice. What I'm going to do now is show you the highlights that I did manage to get with this Socrates. Give a full in-depth review on how he actually plays. Whether he's worth the 11 tokens. Let's get into it. So here we go then, guys. Into the highlights that I did manage to get with this baby icon Socrates that you can unlock for just 11 tokens. Now, I think that's a fantastic price. After playing over 200 games with the card, what have I learned about it? What do I think of the pros for this card? Well, to get started, free kicks. There aren't any free kick highlights in this video, but in general, his free kicks are really strong. His free kick accuracy is insane. And if you have him in the team, you just have a nailed on set piece specialist, really. That's what I find is really nice about Socrates in this game. You can rely on him to take the free kicks for you. Um, not, not a massive one because you probably have a bunch of uh, free kick takers, but it's a nice thing to have in game. Up next, positioning. Positioning for me, and I was shocked at how good his positioning actually was. When I looked back at all these highlights that I'm actually showing you now, he's always in the right spot, whether that's to set the counter-attack going by, by being played the ball into. When his back's facing away from goal, or whether that's actually there for the cutback. He's always in the right spot. And I was really shocked about this. If you play him at cam, which I highly recommend, don't play him at centre mid. He is wasted there. Play him at cam. He will always be in the right position for you. And he will be really, really good for you in that spot. You can see a number of times he's making runs. He's um, in the right spot. He's created space for himself and therefore the rest of the team. 
it is fantastic. So for me, positioning has to be one of the best things about this card. Up next, I've gone for the height, six foot four, really strong in game. Having that sort of model, although height isn't as important this year, it is a really nice thing to have, and I think it does benefit the card. Really, really does uh, a lot. Up next, weak foot. 5 star weak foot, as good as they come, so reliable, you can play passes on his left foot, his right foot, it does not matter which foot they are on, you can take shots on his left as well, it doesn't matter, I think that's so essential this year, I have um, Son in my team a lot of the time, Neymar, having these two players, or three players, really, really benefits you, and it just means that you are uh, less predictable to your opponents, which is really, really good. His passing, you saw in the live games, it's so reliable. It's one of the best cards that I've used passing-wise on this game. I would put him up there with like the likes of Pirlo, uh, Lionel Messi. His simple passes, his long passes, his over-the-top passes. Everything about this guy for passing is fantastic and it's just so reliable. It is just so reliable as he, he is the link-up man between your cam, uh, sorry, your centre mids your strikers, your wingers, you need him to be reliable with passing and that's absolutely what you get from this card. Up next is Stamina, it's okay, it's nothing too crazy but I feel like it's enough to operate at the cam spot where you don't feel like he's uh, he's really slacking, I never find that I have to take him off, not one time have I thought oh, I need to take him off here, the only time I would probably take him off if I'm looking for a bit of a quicker, more agile player in that cam spot. Finishing, I think it's like 84. Not the highest, maybe you should put a chemistry uh, style on to boost this stat, but for me, I think that's reliable. I think that he performs the shots very nicely, especially those powered shots because he has the shot power to really just smash them in at the near post, and that's what I do normally. I wouldn't really try finesse shots with this card. It's more about just the long shots, the power shots. That is his bread and butter. Finally, on the pros, I go for the composure, 95 composure. He is... So relaxed on the ball, so composed at the passing, the shooting, he never seems flustered. Sounds cliche, but in-game it is really nice to have such a good composure stat. And that is it for the pros. I think I mentioned the strength as well, the strength it comes with the height, he's so strong on this game. As for the downsides, for me I feel like at the centre mid position, don't play him there, he's not centre mid, he's a cam, out and out, outright cam for me. Um, yes, he can get away playing at the centre mid spot but he will be wasted interceptions 38 defensive awareness 34 stand tackle 54 so he, the only reason he can play as a centre mid is because of his physicality where he feels strong and he can pass nicely but as a box to box rude hullet type player he's not that he's just in my opinion a fantastic cam sliding tackle 54 we mentioned the defensive stats already they are very poor Balance 56, now you saw in the live game potentially um, that he is slow to turn, he is slow to turn and the agility of 78 doesn't really help that either, but for me, I feel like it doesn't really affect the card so much, it takes a while to get used to and that's what's unique about this card, it takes a while to get used to, you'd think a card like him would be a perfect sentiment, but it took me a while to get used to actually playing, playing him at cam, once you play him at cam, you will realise quickly that he is a fantastic player in this position. And for me, would I take him from Icon Swaps if I didn't have him already? Absolutely. I would take him and Zambrotta every day of the week. I think they're a fantastic pair. Really, really do recommend them too. You're getting two players that can be in your team for the rest of the year potentially, or Zambrotta especially. But this Socrates, I would definitely, definitely take if I didn't have him already. 9.0 rating for him. I think that he just justifies it. He's played over 200 games for me. I rely on him. I have him in the teams with Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, and he's still one of the best players in this team. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. Let me know who you are thinking of taking for Icon Swaps. If there are anyone that you would like me to review on the channel, that would be uh, massively appreciated. But that is going to be the end of today's video. I'll see you all tomorrow with some more FIFA 20 content.